Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to your practice. My name is Raquel. Um, today in our time together, we're going to focus on shapes that helps us to open and expand for the moments we feel that we are down or sad or in this contracted shape. So um, today's class is more is going to target more the emotional aspect of the practice, okay? Um, I do want you to have your blanket, your two blocks and your strap. And we're gonna start sitting down. And you can sit down on your folded blanket. If you want more height, you can have more height underneath the pelvis. You can cross your legs hands here on your legs and just for a moment roll the shoulders up towards the ears and then you roll the shoulders back and down so go ahead and close your eyes starting the journey in into ourselves into our bodies first sensing in your energies today. And now tuning into the emotional body. How is it that you're showing up for your practice right now? So no judgment. You might be pretty content with your life the way it is or Maybe you're carrying some fear, some sadness. So whatever it is that's coming up for you right now. Notice where in the body that specific feeling manifests. If it's a sense of openness, of receptivity or does it invite a closure? Does it invite you to become smaller, gripping, withholding? And if this sounds too elusive, it's fine. The main thing is that as we move through practice, you keep breathing into the abdomen, into the heart. So no matter what's happening, which shape we're in, whatever is happening, happening with us in life, we, we keep moving in a way that feels solid and steady and grounded. We're not running away, we're just staying with what is as we continue our journey. So as you settle a little bit more into yourself at this very moment, now focus on the upper ribs. Very slowly, start to breathe into the upper ribs. And as you exhale, let everything recoil. Inhale into the upper ribs. Now imagine that the whole upper part of your body gets bigger as you inhale and as you exhale it recoils back into the natural normal shape and as you keep breathing like this into the upper chest slowly you now turn into your heart as you inhale, the heart gets bigger, as big as your ribs, taking it all in. 
And as you exhale, everything falls. The inhale helps you to expand from the inside. And the exhale allows you to soften. Let the inhale make you more spacious. And the exhale make you more mellow. Three more like this. That awareness of the physical body, the emotional body, and the energy body. So you're here with whatever's coming up for you right now. And if you notice the throat gripping, you can lick your lips and swallow. Soften the throat. And then slowly you fold the palms in front of the heart, keeping that gentle awareness. And we bow the head as we start our practice. And from here, just open your eyes, look past your fingers, gazing down towards the floor. Now you interlace all of the fingers. Let's split the palms forward. And then the arms up towards the ceiling. That's the first one. I'd like for you to now slowly um, wiggle. <laughs> so wiggle the arms, the upper body, a little side to side. Good. Now as you come to upright, Keep the spines long, keep the palms moving up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, release the arms and let's put the fingertips back down on the floor. Keep your spider fingers on the floor, right fingertips press down more vigorously as you release the left ear down towards the left shoulder. Releasing that right side of the neck. Releasing the gripping, the tension. And now we turn our heads down towards the top of your left eye. And keep your eyes open but soft. And then the heads go up. Now you press the left fingertips down more vigorously. And then right knee, right shoulder. Both of your shoulders are releasing down towards the floor. You're breathing into the left side of your neck. But also with that awareness of expanding the ribs. Big inhale. And as you exhale, look down towards the top of the right thigh. Your eyes can be gazing towards your yoga mat. Eyes soft. And then you look forward as the heads go up. Interlace the fingers, the unfamiliar clasp of the fingers. And then the palms go forward and all the way up. Do your wiggle again, moving those ribs. You can even go back, try to do a back bend and roll in. Good. And bring yourselves all the way to upright, the palms up, press the thumbs into one another, thumbs up towards the ceiling, pinky, pinkies down towards the floor. Keep your spine long. Breathe into that upper chest and then as you exhale, keep the spine long as the arms go down and the shoulders release down. Let the fingertips touch the floor again. Three breaths into the fullness of your ribs. The upper chest, the back ribs, 
so you can feel your ribs expanding into your clothing. And again, go back to the eyes. Are they gripping? Are you hardening your gaze? Are you hardening the muscles around your eyes? So it's a soft bonus. Good. You lean back and then change the cross of your legs. Arms alongside of your body. And let's do a few of the shoulder rolls. And as you do this today, it doesn't have to be linear. You can let this movement be more fluid. So how do you want to do your shoulder rolls today? Maybe one shoulder in front of the other, or if you want to do both of them, you can bend your elbows, you can squirm here. So if you were to do this in a different way, how does your body want to move? Do a few more. Good. And then you release. Good. Bring your knees all the way up. You can leave that blanket. So the blanket is in the middle of your mat to give your knees the, the cushioning. It's so loved. <laughs> and come back to your hands and knees. So hands and knees, do your, um, spread the hands, do your downward dog hands. You can spread your hands so much that your pinkies are touching the floor if you want. And your arms are straight. Feel the palms touching the floor. Feel the knees on the floor. Curl your toes under. And then inhale into the cow pose. So that's your back bend. And then stay in the back bend. Breathing through the upper chest. And then exhale through the mouth. One more breath like this. Tuck the pelvis under, hug the abdomen in. And you curl down into the upper back, into the cat. Again, the head stays down. You're dropping the head, tucking the pelvis, hugging the belly in. And like we did before, um, move a little side to side with the shoulders, with the pelvis, but you're still keeping the cat pose. So you keep the curling in. You get a little creative here. How does your body want to move in cat? So exploring here different ways of moving in a shape that is very familiar. And we come all the way back to center, pressing the hands, looking up into the cow pose. Keep breathing into the chest, feel the abdomen stretching a little, the fullness of your chest. The fullness of the collarbones. And you tuck the pelvis under, round the lower back, round the upper back, into the cat. This time into your cat. Stay in this curling in shape. As you shift your weight forward towards your hands. And then back towards your knees. And when you go back towards your knees, press your hands down and drag your hands forward. They're not going to move. But just make the action of pressing the hands forward when you kind of go back more weight on your knees as if you wanted to go to child's pose but you're not and then come forward draw heads are dropping shift your weight into the heels of your hands and back to center one more time keeping the curling in as you lean your knees back you lean your way back on your knees and then back to center Bring your knees all the way together. Big toes touch. Point the tops of the feet. You walk back and then you sit on your heels. And then the hands in front of you. We roll the hands a few times. Spreading the fingers and the palms. 
and you circle the other way. And notice if you're mindlessly rolling your wrists. You know exactly how that feels like, right? Can you mindfully roll your wrists? Take a look at your hands. Continue. Roll the other way. Good. And then come to standing. Okay, put that blanket to the side for now. And right foot forward, warrior two. And let's allow the hands to rest on your ribs. So the four fingers are forward and the thumbs are going up towards your armpit. So right where your hands are on your ribs, inhale into the hands. Exhale completely. Now inhale the arms out into the warrior two. Remember where your hands were as you keep breathing into your hands. You keep breathing into your ribs. And now inhale the arms up towards the ceiling, just the arms. Exhale as you open. Inhale, arms up. Exhale as you open. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as you open. Arms all the way down, straighten your front leg. Other side, just turn the toes towards the other side. And then bend the front knee, warrior two again. Really feel the feet pressing into your yoga mat. Feel the legs. Occupy your legs. Fully straightening the back one. Fully pressing the front heel down. Opening the arms out into the warrior two. This time you're gonna flip the palms up like we did. Bend the elbows a little, claw the air with the fingers. Feel that. And again, remember the hands on the ribs. As you inhale, expanding through the ribs, expanding through the heart. How can you do this pose with more heart, more fierceness? Being courageous. Two more breaths here. Feeling the work in the legs, the work in the arms, and the spaciousness inside. Now release, bring your palms down, straighten your front leg for a moment. Then bend the front knee again. Three times with the arms. Spaciousness, inhale the arms up. Exhale as you open, let the arms be soft. Inhale up, arms. Exhale, release and soften. Inhale, arms. Exhale as you soften. We straighten the front leg, arms down. Go back to the first side. Bending the front knee. Feeling the feet pressing down, the steadiness of the legs, you inhale. As you exhale, bring the forearm to your thigh, the other hand on your hip. Breathing to the upper chest, expanding those ribs into your clothing, and keeping that awareness, that fullness, the other arm alongside of your ear. Letting the breath be long, and deep. Go back to your gaze now. Notice the quality of your gaze. Look directly towards the wall in front of you at eye level and soften the gaze. You're still feeling your legs. You're still reaching, art, reaching out through your left arm. 
and breathing deeply as you soften the gaze. The gaze of the physical eyes, the inner eye, that part of you that sees yourself from the inside, that sees you from the outside. One more breath here. And as you inhale, come all the way up, warrior two briefly. And straighten your front leg, arms down. Other side. Find those warrior two legs. Staying rooted in the legs, you inhale. As you exhale, gently leaning to that side. Keep rooting through the outer right heel. Then we reach the right arm alongside of your ear. The spaciousness from inside that we can take it in. We're able to digest whatever comes at us. And the softness that helps us endure all of that. You're here to feel your body, the physicality of your body, by holding the shape. Stay present with the shape, with your legs, your pelvis, your arms. Maybe with a hint of a smile. Two more breaths. Inhale up, warrior two. And straighten for a leg, arms down. Toe heel the feet together. Have the feet hip width apart. And then bend the knees and um, we're gonna play a little rag doll here. So as you bend your knees, kind of shake, shake the arms. And then you fidget and you stop fidgeting. Let's do a roll down. So we're gonna do one side and then the other. Keep your feet exactly the way they are. Don't move your feet. Turn your body more towards your right toes. And then you bend your knee. And we're going to roll down, starting with the head. So rolling down slowly. And then pause when you feel the back of the neck. And as you exhale, continue to go down, feeling the upper, upper back. The mid back and the lower back. So letting the arms, letting gravity do the work by pulling the arms down into the floor, pulling the head down. Feel free to bend the knees a lot. Maybe the fingertips touch the floor, maybe not. And then we slowly roll up by pressing the feet into the floor. Come up the same angle that you came in. And then the shoulders and the head. The head is the very last thing. And then align yourself to Dasana. Keep the eyes closed and feel that diagonal. Feel the imprint in the physical body, the energy body. Let's do the other side. Turn only your chest towards your left toes. Bend your knees and then starting with the head, heavy like a cannonball, it goes down, your arms are dangling and really focus on this, um, the action, which is a non-action of allowing the arms to dangle, feeling the spine as you go down, bending your knees.
Hmm. And then going up, pressing the feet down, lower back, mid back, upper back, and as you roll the shoulders back, the head goes up, back into that square Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Good. From here, pull the palms at the heart. Keeping those shoulders down, keeping the face soft and let the thumbs, let the thumbs touch the breastbone. Breathing to the breastbone. Maybe as you continue to bring, breathe like this, you can sense those bottom ribs expanding into your form. Can you exaggerate that now? Awareness of breathing into the front bottom ribs and as they gently press into your form. And as you do this, your eyes are closed and even behind those eyelids, the gaze remains soft. You're standing so the gaze can also be alert in order to keep you upright. And now scan the body, starting here on your face. If there's any gripping around the face. The sides of your neck, the shoulders, your waist, the abdomen. Let the abdomen be soft. Let the bottom of the pelvis feel soft. Add a softening on the backs of your knees and see if that helps you to somewhat soften your quads, your thighs. When we're soft, it's easier for us to receive whatever it is that presents itself to us. We need this quality to discern, to be able to digest situations, feelings, challenges. Like water, like jello, we mold ourselves. We're flexible. And now have the left hand touch your physical heart. And then the right hand on top. And breathe into your heart. When you inhale, envision the heart getting a little bigger inside you. And notice how it feels to be here, standing up, your left hand feeling your heartbeat. 
And notice that now that your hand is there, it might be easier for you to feel the strength of your heartbeat, the rhythm. And this heartbeat, this rhythm is always here, always here. And to honor our time today, and our bodies and our hearts, attempting to connect a little bit more with our essence, with what's actually happening in the moment, right now, at this time, this moment in your life, bringing more presence and more awareness to our living, living inside our bodies, and also living with the people around us, the environment, the world. And to honor our time today, take a big breath in. As you exhale by your head to your own heart. Namaste. Thank you all.